How can laws protect us from chemical weapons? When a country joins the Chemical Weapons Convention, it agrees to create laws and measures to implement the Convention. This includes the adoption of prohibition measures that make specific activities illegal and regulations that facilitate the Convention's chemical control regimes. Article 7 of the Convention requires Member States to adopt national laws that prohibit individuals and companies from undertaking any activity prohibited by the Convention. It must be illegal to develop, produce, stockpile, transfer and use chemical weapons within every Member State. Each Member State must also establish measures that enable it to collect and report information required by the Convention's chemical control regime. The OPCW's Technical Secretariat provides tailored legal expertise and assistance to help Member States draft national laws and measures for these objectives. This includes the development of legislative provisions that enable Member States to penalize acts prohibited under the Convention and give them domestic legal effect. Member States must implement both prohibition measures and chemical control regimes. The Convention requires Member States to designate or establish a national authority to serve as the national focal point for effective liaison with the OPCW and other Member States. Countries can do this by creating a new agency to deal with issues related to the Convention or by designating an existing agency, department or office within a ministry such as one responsible for trade, defence, foreign relations or the environment. Every member state is different and has discretion in determining the size, structure, composition and mandate of its legislative framework and its national authority. Factors that may influence this include the presence or size of its chemical industry and international chemical trade, and whether or not it is in the process of chemical weapon destruction activities. The Convention is implemented at the national level by various entities, such as the military and police, the criminal justice system, customs authorities, chemical industry and other commercial and educational bodies. The National Authority must be authorised to compile and report data from these entities to the OPCW as required by the Convention. This allows both the OPCW and the Member State to monitor the types, quantities and international transfer of certain chemicals which helps to prevent the diversion of chemicals for non-peaceful purposes. OPCW facilitates knowledge sharing at global and regional meetings of the National Authorities. It also coordinates mentoring programs between states that are more advanced in the process of national implementation and states requiring assistance. These include a wide range of courses, workshops and guidance and often focus on issues related to legislative adoption. Learn more at opcw.org.